What up folks, Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a real cool, simple tilt shift style effect in DaVinci Resolve. Now tilt shift gives your footage a real cool sort of miniature look, works really really well with time lapses and sort of top down angles, so it'll be really popular, really good one for you drone users out there. It looks a little something like this. Now tilt shift is a really cool effect, it's getting really popular in photography and videography because of that funky look that it gives. You can get dedicated tilt shift lenses but they're really expensive and really niche so obviously we're going to fake it in Resolve instead. Now I'm going to show you how to apply this effect directly to the clip itself. You can of course use an adjustment clip if you prefer. You can then save that in a power bin so it's there ready to use whenever you want to. Right, with that out of the way, let's have a look. So here we are folks, we're in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the Edit tab. Now there are technically a few ways that you can do this, but the easiest and most consistent I've found is within the Colour tab. So we're going to hop straight into the Colour tab from here. And you should have something that looks a little like this. Now if you can't see your clips down here, so you can't find the clip to select, simply click on Clips up in the top right hand corner, like so, to add this little timeline here, it makes life a little bit easier. And then also make sure that you've got your node selected so that you can see your nodes. Now whenever you're doing anything within the color tab, ideally you should add an additional node and then work off that. It just means you've always got the original to fall back on. It just makes life a little bit easier. So we're going to give this a click. We're going to right click, add node, and then add a serial node. So we've got a second node to work from. And then if anything goes wrong, we can always just remove this and we've got the original to fall back on. So with your second node selected, head to the bottom of the screen, like so, and you should see something similar to this. And we want to click on this one here, which is our window or our mask. So these are all the different types of mask that we can select. Now the easiest I found is the circle. So you can either give circle a click here, or just click on the little image here, and it will add a circle window onto your preview screen. Then all you want to do is grab this middle dot, either either on the left or the right hand side, just drag it straight out quite far past the edges of your frame. If you need to, you can just do your mouse scroll wheel and you can zoom in and out. And then we're just going to drag it up a little bit as well. So you sort of want the top quarter and the bottom quarter. And then using the menu at the bottom, you want to go to this one here with the little drop and the triangle. This is your blur tool. Make sure that you're on blur using the little drop down here. You've got blur, sharpen and mist. It's blur that we want. And then all you're going to do is grab this bar under radius and then drag it upwards to increase the blur. Now what you'll notice is that everything within our mask is being blurred. So all of this middle section is becoming blurred and we actually want the opposite. Find a level of blur that you're happy with, somewhere about halfway up seems to work quite well. And then we're just going to head back into our window. And we can see we've got our circle highlighted in red and we've got this little icon over on the right hand side and this is actually the invert tool. So if we give that a click, it will invert our selection. So now everything within our mask is perfectly fine and everything outside of it has got our blur, which is giving us our tilt shift effect. Now the power window is sort of in the way at the moment. So if we want to get rid of that so we can preview and see what we're doing, this little icon here in the bottom left of your preview, give it a click and then just go to off. And then you hit play. We've got our tilt shift effect. Now you can see here, we've got our little edge, and it's not too bad, but we can maybe soften that up a little bit. If you want to do that, there are two ways. If we turn our power window back on, we can just grab this little red mark on the outside circle, and we can just drag it outwards or inwards to either soften or harshen up the actual edge of the mask or the window. Or alternatively, if you want to actually see what you're doing while you do it, Let's just get rid of our power window again. In the window box here, you've got this softness. If we just click our mouse and we can drag it to the right and the left. So if we go right to zero, you can see it's quite a harsh, abrupt edge. Whereas if we go further out like so, it just softens it up a little bit. And then from here, you can just play with the power window, make it smaller, make it larger, move it around, whatever you want to do. You can head back into your blur and make it more blurry and hit play, and there you go, there's your tilt shift effect. 
And that's it, folks. I hope that was useful. As always, if it was, thumbs up, comments or feedback down below. And if you're new here, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Stay safe. Until next time. Bye.